Hi everyone, Carol Brightville. Google Sites provides a simple and easy way to create a website. One of the most important features that it makes it easy to build your website is the insert menu. I wanted to create a video just to show you everything that is available in this insert menu. And I realized I had to make this a three-part video series because there is so much information. So I broke it out by the top part of the menu, the middle content blocks, and the bottom 17 items. So let's get started with part one. In case you were wondering what the insert feature is, it allows you to add various types of content to your web page and you don't have to know how to code. It's anywhere from text, images, videos, links, files, files from your Google Drive, maps, forms, and calendars. Of course, to go to Google Sites, you can go to the URL bar and type sites.google.com but I always like going to the waffle and going to the sites icon. Google Sites is available in a personal Gmail account and a professional Gmail account. It doesn't really have any difference from the paid version and the unpaid version. There's a template gallery that you can use one of their existing templates and customize it the way that you want it. I wanted to start with the blank site and I have one that I've already opened. Now let's look down the insert. The topmost level, you see four items. You see a text box, images, embed, and drive. But I also want to show you an easy way what you can do. Go to the middle of your page and double click. It brings up the exact same elements that you see at the top of the insert. At the top is images. When you insert an image, it will go to your Google Drive. It will insert it by a link, Google Images, or it will go to your Google Photos. You can come down and go to My Drive, something that's shared with me, or even to a shared drive. The next thing coming to the left is the embed. Things that you can embed would be a URL, www.wikipedia.com and I can insert and it inserts a whole different website within your website. Going back into the embed, you see where it says embed code. This is an iframe code that you can get. iframe is an HTML element that loads another HTML page within your document. The common things that it's used for are to embed advertisements, to embed a video, website analytics, or any interactive content. Let me show you, I have a YouTube video pulled up here. And when I hit the share, you can see where it says embed. Here's the code that comes up. Copy the code. Let's close out of here. Go to the embed code. Now let me paste this code in there. See how nice that works? The next item is the drive icon. So of course you can go right to your Google Drive and go to my drive, share drives, shared with me, recent or starred. To the right, when you click that icon, is the upload. So you can upload something from your desktop and embed it into your Google site. And the middle is a text box. And when you put in the text box, of course there's the WYSIWYG editor that you can choose your text, normal text, title, heading, subheading, small text. It's important to choose one of these if you're going to build a table of contents because the table of contents is built from the style that you have here. When you choose a font, you can choose one of the many available Google fonts. I think there are, are up to now 880 fonts. If you hit the plus for more fonts, we'll take you to Google fonts and you can look for a font that you want. The next is the size of the font. You can go to one of their default sizes or just type in a size that you want. You can make your type bold, italic, underline. When you select the A with the underline, that brings you to the ability to customize and colorize your font. When you hit the plus, it takes you to where you can customize the color of your font by putting a hex color or an RGB color that you want so that your font color can match any color that you have existing in your banner. To get a hex color, all you have to do is go to a new tab, type in custom hex color, and I always choose the top one that comes up, going to the picker and slide it around and the color that you like at the top, right beside the hashtag. You can copy that, come back to your font and paste that in there. Now your font will be that custom hex color that you chose. The next item going across the top is the link. 
Various things that you can link to would be a URL from an external website. You can also link to a page that you have created within this website. But of course, being Google, another thing you can link to would be one of the Google Doc formats or a file within your Google Drive. Let me go to my drive and I'm gonna right click on a file that I have here. After right clicking, you see where it says get link. Selecting the get link, you can see where it says copy link. But before you copy that link, this is one of the most important things. Since you're building a website, who's going to view that website? And if it's external, away from people within your domain, you wanna click the general access and you wanna make that anyone with the link. If you don't do that, then any file that you link to will not be viewable. And say done, copy link, done. Now when I select the link, all I have to do is paste that link in there. You can align your text to the right, center, left, or justify your, your text. There is the numbered list, the bullet list, to trash. The three dot ellipse will take you to the spacing between your lines that you can add space between paragraphs, custom spacing, block indent, block decrease indent, to strike through your text, to highlight a color. The next one over says code font, and when you select that and start typing, all it does is make your font look like how it would look to a developer, as though you're actually coding something. And the last one here, strike through, would clear any formatting in this text box. This is the end of part one of the insert menu. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel and have a great day.